Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So I've got another um, swatch and review video for you. Um, Kate from Dixie Plates kindly sent me their latest um, stamping plates. So we've got um, Halloween 2017 and then we have the mini marbled one. Um, so I'm going to be showing you um, the details of each of the plates, doing some swatches from each as well um, and then I'll give you my review at the end. So we're just going to get straight into it and start looking at the plates. So first off I'm going to show you Halloween 2017. So last year Kate brought out um, a Halloween plate. I think it might have been called 05, I'm not sure. Um, so obviously this is you know something different something new we've got some different types of images on here um so this one is completely different to last year's and i do be believe that last year's is back as well for um a limited time so um you should be able to get last year's halloween plate as well as this one so as you can see already we've got the nice large images that Dixie Plates is known for so they're quite wide and quite long we've got loads of different sort of themes going on we've definitely got a uh, zombie theme down the bottom here I know that, and also some smaller images over here with some brains um, you know and some slashes and stuff which is quite cool that's quite different from last year's plate obviously we've got the cool sort of zombie uh, image over here and then as we're going up we've got some different type of monsters and some sort of um cuter images um you know we've got some sort of ghouls and stuff over here and like the witch with her little cat um and then obviously going up to the top and we've got the more sort of intricate designs i really love this pumpkin one over here you know we've got some really sort of um, slim skeletons and things like that so I'm going to do some swatches from this plate so to swatch today I'm going to use the Dixie Plates XL stamper this is one that I recommend for um, sort of beginners and things like that because it's just a really nice easy um, stamper to use I have done sort of a review and stuff already on this stamper and all of the other Dixie Plates products to be quite honest so I'll leave the links for that down below so you can actually see sort of my review and sort of first impressions of the stamper. Then for stamping polishes I'm just going to be using Hit The Bottle um, black and white so they are snowed in and as black as night. Um, you can get these from Sarah R's shop who is the UK stockist for Dixie Plates um, so I'll leave obviously all of those links down below for where you can get everything in the video from. So I've just cleaned the plate with some acetone. Um, I think the first image I'm going to do are these cute pumpkins up the top here. I really like them. So that's obviously stamped absolutely perfectly. I love this image, it's awesome. So next up I'm going to swatch the little witch down here and her little cat because I really like that image. So that again has come out really, really well. And actually I think this image would be really great for shrinking. Um, so I'm just gonna do this same image again, but shrinking it um, just so you can see what it looks like. So to shrink the image, I'm gonna use the um, Dixie Deluxe Stamper. So this is what I use to shrink my images. So yeah, as you can see, that's come out really well. So I'll just show you sort of side by side 
um, the sizing of the images. So obviously this one is just stamped normally, then this one has been shrunk. So really sort of versatile with, um, you know, the different sort of Dixie um, stampers. So next one I'm going to swatch is the zombie tape down here. So again, that's come out really well. I think as well you could actually um, shrink this image. I think it might look a bit better. So I'm going to do that now for you and just show you the difference. Okay, so I've stamped it a little bit um, wonky, but you can see the difference sort of in the sizing of the lettering. Um, you can definitely sort of get more of the like zombie um, wording if you shrink the image. Obviously I would suggest uh, stamping the image straight, that's just me. Um, but I think it works both ways, it just, I think doing it sort of the shrinking way you fit more of the actual zombie words on but it does depend how big your nails are I have got some clients who have massive nails like this so I wouldn't need to shrink the image but on my nails that are a little bit sort of slimmer width wise um, I would shrink the image for that one so next I'm going to swatch up these um, dripping Yep, so they've stamped really um, well. Obviously that bit there is actually part of the design. That's not sort of a missed stamping bit. And obviously I've got a bit of the splatter down the bottom as well. So that's really cool. That's come out really well. And I wouldn't suggest um, shrinking that one. I don't think you need to. Um, I think you get the whole effect. It will just be about placement. So I'm gonna now move on to the uh, marbled plate. So here is a close-up of the mini marbled plate. Now, at the moment, this is out of stock. Um, it has sold out, which is not really surprising. Um, but it will be back in stock really, really soon. So do just keep checking um, on the websites for it. I think it's going to be back um, in about November. So quite a few weeks, but it's definitely one to get your hands on. Um, so we've just got loads of different marbling designs. You can definitely layer these up. Um, obviously stamping is a lot easier to, um, to do than hand painting and stuff. So I'm just gonna do um, a few swatches for you. I'm not gonna shrink any of these images though, because I don't think you need to. Um, so I'll just be using the normal Dixie Stamper. So I think probably the one that I would go to first to use is this one down here. So I'm going to swatch that one first. So obviously that has stamped really well. You could definitely layer this up and do sort of double stamping and sort of move the image over. Um, but it's come out really, really well. That would be my sort of go-to image, I think, on this plate to begin with. So also, I think another one I would go to would be this one. So I'm gonna swatch that one as well. So again, that's stamped really well. Um, I wouldn't usually be obviously stamping marble in just white. Um, I would obviously use a paler base, but this is just for swatching purposes basically. But you can see how well that image has come out. So for the next sort of swatch, I'm actually gonna use these two images down here and I'm gonna do some sort of double stamping layering. Um, so I'm going to be using the Dixie Triple D. So this is the um, 
Diamond Dixie Duo, I think it's called, something along those lines. Um, so and I'm just gonna use the top head here. So there's the first part. So, and then there's the second part. So as you could see, I did actually move the stamper around so that the um, images went together, uh, you know, better so that more of the lines were sort of in with each other. So that's also the great thing about the marbling is that you can move it around to wherever you want it to be basically. But I'm really happy with that. Obviously, if I was to do this on a client, I wouldn't actually use a grey base and the white stamping. I would have done a white base, grey stamping or silver stamping and then black stamping on top or something to that effect. Obviously, um, this is just me for swatching purposes, but I'm still really happy with how that has gone together um, and obviously using the uh, Triple D uh, stamper as well is really helpful for that. So then there you have all of the swatches. So I hope in this video um, I was able to show you some different um, sort of variations on how to use the Dixie Plates product. So obviously I've used three different stampers. Um, obviously use just the two stamping polishes but obviously you can switch those up. But you know just from using sort of those two plates we were able to create loads of different sort of variations so obviously we've got the two different sizes in these um, four swatches here um, and then obviously we've got the layering technique as well at the end so I mean once again Dixie Plates is just it's just my favourite brand of stamping plates I absolutely love them so I hope that you like this video guys thanks to Kate and Sarah for sending me the Dixie Plates products um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all again soon bye